everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be fixing a broken seat. Let's get started. And here we have our broken seat. Here's the crack going through the middle and you can see it very clearly when I flex it. Now if you look at the edges, we got staples going everywhere. There's a whole bunch of staples down here and we got them going right through the center of the trim here, around the side, underneath the trim, and in the middle of the trim. This is going to take some time and patience to remove them all. We'll start off by numbering the seat guides so that this way we know where to put them back when we're done. Go ahead and remove all the screws. Now I didn't have a specific staple remover tool, so this is what I used. I had a very thin flathead screwdriver, a regular flathead screwdriver, and a pair of pliers with a blunt tip on the front. So at first you just start slowly working the screwdriver into the staple and try to pry the head up. Then you use the pliers and pull it on out. We'll start here at the seam so that this way we can remove the staples around the perimeter of the trim and then we can remove the seat cover itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here. It's not hard to do, it just takes time. So just relax, have some patience, and work your way around removing one staple at a time. Now that the trim is removed, we can see the staples that are actually holding in the seat vinyl. Using the same method as before, grab your screwdriver and pull all the staples out, one at a time. Now this was a cool trick I figured out about halfway through. You can use the shaft of the screwdriver as a wedge and then pivot the pliers across the top, easily pulling out the staples. Like I said, be patient and take your time. There are a lot of staples holding in the vinyl. Now that all the staples are removed, you can see that you can pull the vinyl back from the seat. But be very careful, there is a thin plastic membrane in between the vinyl and the foam cushion, probably to help keep moisture out of the foam. Carefully peel it over the seat base and be careful not to rip it. We're going to reuse this plastic when we put everything back together. If you turn the seat over, you can actually see that the foam is glued to the base of the seat, which is a good thing so it doesn't slide around. Take a spackle knife or a putty knife, whatever you want to call it, and just wedge it in between the foam and the base of the seat, breaking up the glue that's holding it together. Just work your way around carefully. Again, don't rip the plastic. Eventually, the bottom of the seat will separate from the foam, and then you can pull them apart. Remove the foam from the base of the seat, again, being very careful not to rip the delicate plastic. Fantastic, even more staples. What I did was trace a line across this edge so that this way we know where to staple this piece onto the new base. And now we have finally freed the base from the rest of the seat. 
All right, now that we got all the staples out, we're gonna use that piece and trace that on top of our HDPE. Believe it or not, all this is is a commercial kitchen cutting board. That's it. Now take your old broken seat base and put it on top of the new HDPE. Try to line up at least one straight edge. Secure it in place, I used blue tape. And trace the edges for cutting. Don't forget to mark out any holes. For these little guys, I just used a drill bit. I spun it in my fingers and it marked the piece below. Now we have our marked out piece of plastic ready for cutting. And through the magic of video editing, Man, that was easy. Using a straight edge, you can line up the sides of the bases and then transfer over the line that we made over to the new piece. Do you guys know what time it is? Let's get ready to staple! So I put the edge of the seat on the line we transferred over and I set my staple gun to about 90 psi. That's enough pressure to drive the stainless steel staple into the base of our seat. I'm going to use this 3M Super 77 and spray it on the HDPE and the foam. This is going to help the foam stick to the base just like it was previously. Now very carefully take that very thin plastic and place it back on the foam just as the way we found it. Once you have the vinyl on, flip the seat over. Push the base in at the corners and pull the vinyl up over the edges. You can flip the seat over to check to make sure there are no wrinkles or folds. Now while pushing down on the seat base, you can start stapling in the vinyl. You'll want to leave about a half inch to three quarters of an inch depending on what was originally cut. The reason why you want to push down on the seat base is that when you release the pressure, it'll keep the vinyl tight. Start off by just putting in a couple staples around the edges and then we'll go back and fill in the rest. Just going to check the other side once more to make sure there are no wrinkles. 
strike, I don't hesitate. I'm feeling like winning, they spitting the venom, but I got the power, I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid, I'm in your face. Forget tomorrow, man, I'm here today. Won't set up for good, man, I'm shooting for great. To remember my name when I'm in the grave. Take your time on the corners and fold it nicely so that you have the least amount of creases. I'm constantly flipping it over and checking to make sure there are no wrinkles. Now take the trim and line it up around the edges. The trim is very thin here, so don't be surprised if a couple staples completely blast through it. Remove the staple as you did earlier and put it in a different spot. Now we'll go back and refer to the old base to see where the alignment blocks went. Looks good to me. I'm going to spray on some of this 303 just to give it that little extra shine and protection. All right, let's see how it fits. Good as new. Actually, better than new. All right, and our seat's done. Not too bad. I'm not an upholsterer, so it's not gonna be perfect, but you, but honestly, you're never gonna see the bottom of this anyway. Uh, but this came out pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with it, and hopefully this doesn't get broken again. If you guys like this video, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you wanna see, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you all on the water.